did you see, what do you feel so special about this coffee to be so valuable? Um, it, it was very unique. I mean, we came to Brazil last year looking to find something special, something that would rival Geisha from Panama. Um, and I really wanted to be able to put something on the table that just showed just how special Brazil can be. And um, this coffee had a lot of character. Um, and uh, I think anybody could appreciate the quality of the coffee that, that it was. Because it's so valuable, it must be sold and consumed mm -hmm. in a special way. Yes. Tell me about it. It's not easy. I mean, not many people um, uh, can sell uh, expensive coffee very easily. You need you need a market for it. There need to be uh, people that are um, ready to, to buy that. At the same time, you need to be able to articulate why it is special. Um, so we would sell that coffee. Uh, right now we sell it um, for $15 a, a cup. Um, we sell a small tin um, uh, for $45 a tin. And it has a lot to do with the way it's presented, the way it's explained. Uh, the experience that you give the guest is what makes it Today you see the, co the farmer coffee. What do you think about the Brazilian coffee, the Cerrado coffee? Uh, this is my first time to uh, Cerrado. Uh, I was really impressed. I mean, it's a pretty um, slick op operation. Um, but uh, I think the, the biggest takeaway for me today was picking coffee cherries uh, by hand uh, and just kind of uh, <coughs> putting a lot of heart and um, soul into producing something special. It was just really nice to be here. Look around, yeah. look the city, look the, the, the farms. What did you see special today here in Patrocínio? Um, I mean, I, I, I love the, uh, the people of Brazil. I always find it so uh, warm and welcoming and everyone is so uh, friendly. Um, uh, there's, there's a real appreciation for uh, life in Brazil and lifestyle and I kind of, I feel that when I come here. People love to um, be happy and eat well and music and you know, all those things, it's great.